wild mushrooms must be properly identified and cooked thoroughly before consumption. Use multiple sources. Here's a pro tip on how to find the mother load of morel mushrooms under stressed white ash trees. First, identify the trees by its X-hatched furrowed bark, double set leaves, and thin seed pods with pointed ends. Not every tree contains morel mycelium, so find as many as you can. They have really cool branches that come out uh, perpendicular at 90 degree angles to one another. Look here, you see how they boink, boink, they come out like that? It's a good way to identify them. Sadly, um, the emerald ash borer is taking a lot of them out. Heartbreak. Next, you want to find a living ash tree with buds, but stressed bark markings. Okay, this is a white ash tree that's got the telltale signs of it's gonna die and it bark cracks and in places it gets lighter in color it's really hard to see now up here right there see this here right there that's lighter in color and cracking the patches appear randomly in size and shape along the trunk of the tree. The rest of the tree has got normal bark. That tree is the one you're looking for. This is white ash. Unlike elm trees, which need to be completely dead and budless to fruit morels, the white ash seems to fruit in the year or two prior to its death. So you need to look for those bark cracking and light patch signs to find the ones that may put up a lot of mushrooms. If my tips were helpful today, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it.